Well, it's been a sad week in the bodybuilding world, starting off with the passing away of superstar Billy Graham and Mr. Quetelbaum, who actually died in a motorcycle accident and he went and, and saw Andrew many times at Meow Man's store in South Carolina. And of course, Charles Malou, old man Chuck. And now, upon waking, I got the sad note from RX Muscle on my Instagram that Mighty Mike Quinn passed away. And he was, had a long illness. And Mike Quinn, as most of you maniacs may or may not know, was invited to come to Big Lou's Misfit Memorial Day, which the anniversary of that event was five years ago, believe it or not. Still one of the greatest Memorial Day parties anybody could ever possibly go to. Great video footage. Uh, I suggest all maniacs take a look at it again, the Delray Misfit channel. But Mike Quinn was supposed to be there, and sadly, he couldn't make it. But the first time I saw Mike Quinn was in Muscular Development Magazine, run by York Barbell Company in the mid-1980s. They showcased his photos from an amateur division, and he was an awesome teenage competitor had tremendous arms, and I continued to see Mike through my high school years through Muscle and Fitness Magazine and Flex Magazine, and he had a unique look to him. When he trained, he had that intense, wild-eyed look in his eye. He had tremendous arms back, and he was definitely one of my bodybuilding idols, as you might say, when I was in high school. And I followed his career through the IFBB. He was a top six Mr. Olympia finisher. He was on the shows American Muscle, which were great on ESPN. When I was living with my grandmother and had finally got to see cable TV. And he was also one of the signees of the World Bodybuilding Federation by Vince McMahon in the early 90s. And he was also part of the training team of boxer Vinny Pazienza. And on Vince's show, WBF Body Stars in the early 90s, and I encourage you maniacs to take a look at it, Mike, Mighty Mike Quinn was featured quite a bit in it. And being that Mike Quinn lived locally here in Lake Worth, I ran into a few times, spoken with him before at the old uh, Delray Fitness. And Mike was an open book. He would answer any question you asked him. He also would give you invaluable advice. And his advice to me and others were, stay away from drugs, stay away from substances. Uh, and he said that only through getting saved through Jesus is the only way to rid yourself of those addictions. But he also had an even greater message. And this goes through every thing you do in life. And he was a very good high school football player in Massachusetts. And I believe he did some boxing as well, as did local Massachusetts bodybuilder Mike Matarazzo. But Mike said, if you want to get better, train harder. Nowadays, you may hear of, if you want to get better, follow this type of routine, take this supplement, take this PED stack. But rarely do you hear that message of the no pain, no gain and train harder. And Mike, who would bring clients in to train at the Delray Fitness Gym, that was his message. Train harder. He didn't say train longer. 
He didn't say train smarter. He said train harder with that Massachusetts accent. Harder. So, great guy. There's some interviews of him online. I suggest you look them up. Uh, here's a guy that took his great salary from the WBF and went and invested in some gyms. He was the owner of a Gold's Gym on Federal Highway in Boca Raton. And I remember at the time I was in my early 20s and a lot of guys that went there, you know, they said Mike, when he was, when he would train, his guys, would, he was intimidating. He was very, very intense. Very intense individual. And there's been a lot of rumors, uh, you know, about his fighting ability or his uh, club bouncing exploits. And but one thing, one thing for certain is. He trained hard. And that's the message for today, Maniacs. And like I said, all these bodybuilders we lost in the past week, I'm sure they're in heaven now, training harder. Or at least since Mike came, he went out to step up their game. So let's just celebrate their lives as we celebrate the lives of our Maniacs. And all these men were non-cookie cutters, free-thinking men, which is our goal in life as maniacs. So again, to Mike's family, all our condolences from the Delray Misfits, from Big Lenny, and that's a path to live. Recognize yourself as a sinner, as Mike did, counsel others on how to avoid these mistakes and ask for forgiveness for your sins. And most importantly, train harder. <laughs>